hello guys welcome back to my channel as you can see my eyes are already made i thought the camera was recording while i was doing my eyes but it never records when i'm doing my eyes guys forgive my voice if it sounds a bit cr crocky i am having a cold and it's not coronavirus so today i'm going to be doing foundation review for revlon 24 hour superstay in the color of cinnamon caramel i bought this at beauty options in the price of 14.50 let's see whether it's original how it looks on my face and when i opened it up it had a pump it's always a good thing when foundation has a pump as soon as i start to put the foundation onto my face i realized that it has very light consistency very light consistency means that i have to keep pumping more foundation onto the sponge and onto my face because i couldn't cover my blemishes with one pump or two pumps i have to keep adding more foundation onto my face more layers of this foundation onto my face that means it will finish very quickly if this is all you're using but as I put the foundation onto my face, I also realized um, the color is not so far off from my skin tone. In some parts, it fits perfectly well. Some parts, it is very light. That's because I have very uneven skin tone. I also realized that the foundation dries off very quickly in the parts that I've already finished. And that means this is not too oily, too dry. So it works perfectly for any skin tone. So if you have oily skin tone, you can still use this because you're going to put some setting powder on. And for the powder, I'm going to use my black opal powder for setting my makeup. I bought it at Linton's at wholesale, so I do not know the retail price for it. And because the foundation was a bit light on some parts, I'm going to use my own skin tone of concealer to contour my face. It's not too much contouring, it's just to give my face some structure and then I'm going to do my dance as I wait for everything to sit in so that I can blend it all in. Using a regular powder brush, I'm going to blend in the setting powder. And because I still use blush, I'm going to use my blush that I bought a very long time ago. You can see it has even faded off but it's by Kiss Beauty. Mm -hmm. 
I am going to use my Pro Glow highlighter to highlight on top of the blush. And my favorite black opal knockoff lipstick. Look at it, it glows. I love this lipstick. It's a knockoff I bought at Best Lady River Road at the price of 170 shillings. But it's amazing, guys.